Hey guys, it's time. Well, time again, really. The pre-assembled version of the Quinn LED Dig Uno is back in stock. So, the last batch, things went a bit quicker than I thought they would. Last batch, I had 100 boards made, but those went so quickly that I didn't even have time to make my, my YouTube announcement about it. So this time, with a new partner and shop in hand, I have had a lot more made. They still aren't unlimited, but let's hope stock lasts a bit longer than 24 hours. The move to the new shop means we can ship worldwide with good rates and shipping speed, and hopefully I can expand the boards being sold and items there in the future. Although currently with the global pandemic going on, the shipping speed can vary a little bit. Next to this new shop and partner, I have also partnered up with Dr. Z's. Someone most of you probably already know. He's a popular YouTuber in the Domotica and Home Assistant scene. He has local stock and can send it locally from the US to the US and Canada. This should be cheaper and quicker in regards to shipping. He will also include a little case he found and of course some Dr. Z stickers. So while he has stock, make sure to check his shop page out. I've linked his shop on basically my shop or the pre-assembled version page on quinld.info, so you'll find the link there. To quickly answer a much asked question, no, there's no local EU stock, or stock in the Netherlands for that matter. I'm not going to go into details in this video, but basically me reselling it from where I live would make the product much more expensive than I can sell it for now. The biggest downside to that is that shipping from China can take a few weeks, not months with the shipping offered, but I think that downside is well worth it in regards to the other trade-offs that would otherwise have to be made. I hope you can understand. So, quickly about the board. It's still the same Quinn LED Dig Uno you've come to know and many people love. I've updated it slightly, so the board being sold is based on the new version 2 release 6. I've released those designs for the DIY version also, and everything is already live on my QueenLED.info website. So whether you want to buy pre-assembled and that has some SMD level shifters and some other components, or want to build yourself, both are a good option. And if you can build yourself, that is still absolutely the cheapest way to do it. Main improvements in the version 2 release 6 are adding some GPIO pins and changing some footprints. The pre-assembled version, as I said, has slightly more changes, but that is purely to try and make the manufacturing process a bit more streamlined. All functionality between the two designs is 100% the same. So, what do you get when you buy the pre-assembled version? On my buying page, I list which options I chose to use, but a quick overview is that the PCB is a 2OZ version with enic plating in dark blue so the board can handle the maximum power possible. This, uh, this is one of the prototypes I made, so it has normal green PCB. But the ones in being sold have nice dark blue PCBs. It comes with a 10 amp fuse included, but especially if you're going to run a few of them, picking up some more fuses can't hurt. They are standard Ato size uh, car fuses and should be available anywhere. And well, as always, I'll have some links in the description too. This time, the board also includes the 5V and 12V capabilities and includes the temperature sensor, which wasn't included in the pre-assembled version last time. It comes fully complete with the Wemos D1 Mini ESP8266 version, and everything is included like the jumpers and everything is soldered together, so it's really a complete package. So complete, in fact, that it comes with the excellent WLED firmware pre-flashed on the board. Thank you, Air Cookie, for allowing me to do that. So now it's literally taking it out of the bag, hooking up some uh, power wires, the LED wires, and turning it on. And you can connect with your phone. That's it. It's awesome. A small side note is that the board comes with WLED 0.9.1. 
but I recommend updating this to the more recently released 0.10.1 version, or since it's a still a DOI board, any firmware of your choosing or your own code. Have fun with it. In addition to all of this, the international shop also lists some extras at the bottom of the page, such as a little acrylic case you can add. It's a nice little case which adds a little bit of protection around the board if you want to use it around the house. Well, I'm not going to make this a very long video. If you are looking for a controller to control addressable LEDs with Wi-Fi connectivity, the needed level shifter, a fuse for extra added safety, and running the excellent WLED firmware or the uh, ESP Pixel Stick firmware or whatever you would want really, uh, for WLED, it comes with a phone app or hooks directly into Home Assistant. This might be the board you want to get. I mean, I certainly think so, but I'm kind of biased. <laughs> so yeah. As said, I will have a few links in the video description to my QuinnLED.info pages, including the page where you can buy the pre-assembled version, but also make sure to check out the links to the LED strips and pixels I recommend using with the board. If all things keep going like they are, I'm going to work on releasing even more boards in the future, uh, DIY of course, but also maybe some more pre-assembled versions. Let's see how it goes. So to end the video, if you do decide to buy, I humbly thank you. Leave me a note down in the video comments what you're going to use the board for. I'm always interested to know. If you need some more support, there is also a Discord server you can join, the Intermittent Technology Discord server, where there's lots of people talking about LEDs and the Queen LEDs and stuff like that. So, that's it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you guys back in the next video. Stay, uh, stay subscribed for that. And well, bye-bye.